Hi, I'm Glenna Smore. I'm a wildlife artist and instructor and I paint with acrylic paints. Um, I use Black Gold Dynasty brushes and I actually had these two made for me. And they're Glenna's background pouncers. Okay, we have the large and the small. And they do a lot of things. And actually with my students, they're probably one of the favorite brushes that we have. So I'm going to move these away because they're rolling. <laughs> On this large one, you see how the tip has a bit of an angle? Um, and that can be shifted. You can shift that around. But I, I did that for a reason. Now when you use these, you don't want to drown them in the water. You just load the tip like that, shake it off, and then dab it on the towel. If you get it too wet, it's going to be like painting with a mop, a floor mop. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move the paint over here, and I've pulled the paint out. This is sap green. And I'm going to just load that flat part. And you don't want to get too much paint, you see, like that. And I'm going to um, make a bush. Now, if I'm doing a large, see how I put the flat down and you just go in a circle, and that's going to lay in a bush pattern. Uh, if you're doing a a landscape or something. Uh, you can base in trees like that as well. And okay, we'll just kind of pull that across like that. Then don't rinse it out. Wipe it like this, okay? Then we'll come in with a little bit of a lighter color. And I'm again, don't overload your brush. And I'm going to use more of the tip, that tip right there. See, and just kind of tap in some texture. Can you see how that's... And then I'll take a little bit of yellow and add that in there and put a little bit of highlight on my bush. You see how quick that is? So, you know, this is, again, a good way to base in and then go back and add a little bit more detail. Now while we have this here, I think we need some grass. Now I'm going to mix uh, some color for our grass and I'm going to use another brush to mix it. Um, so I'm going to pull some raw sienna out here and I added a little bit of, of yellow and we'll test this and see if it shows up because if it's not bright enough you won't be able to see the strokes. So, I'm going to load, now the, for the bush, we, we used the flat side. Now we're going to use this side over here. So just drag it through like this. And again, don't overload. And we'll try this and see. And you just, I think we need a little more yellow there. See, just flip up like that. Like that. And then, of course, you know, you can layer your colors, uh, get some variants in there. But for basing your painting in, this is so fast. Now, say you want some little flowers in the grass. Okay, I'm going to go back and dip the brush in the water, get my towel, and wipe it off. Again, don't slosh it in the water to clean it. Just wipe it like that. Okay. And we'll take some... Now you're just going to use the very tip of the brush right there. That very tip. And just very lightly come in like that. Okay. And then just very carefully dot in some little, little flowers like that. Okay. And maybe we'll throw in a couple of little orange ones, just like that. But just don't overload the brushes. That's the big thing with all of them. 
um, see, like that. And if you want to use, uh, if you have a smaller project, you can use this, the little brush. You see there's quite a difference in the size. Uh, these are available on my website.